Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. It's time for another intrigue journal with our friend Sean Paul. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so I came in ready to talk about something else, mm -hmm. but then a couple days ago, this story broke on Fox News as well as some other channels uh, saying, Ark of the Covenant may be hidden in Africa, biblical scholars believe. So I started doing research, mm -hmm. and I found a gentleman who wrote a book on it. They also made a movie on the History Channel of his pursuit of trying to find the Ark. Okay. And I lined up this interview within three Three hours, talked to him the very next day. I've got an hour long interview I did on, on what, my website, intriguejournal.com. But let's just talk about this. Okay. I, ca I talked to Tudor pa uh, Parfit about this, and he said, Yes, that story has been around for 20 years, and news stories will pick it up when it's a slow news day. Oh. Apparently, the Ethiopians, it's a source of national pride that they have the Ark of the Covenant in St. Mary of Zion's Cathedral. All right, and uh, it's kept there, and there's only one. One gentleman that, that's allowed to see it. The president of Ethiopia, heads of state, nobody can go near it except the guardian, the keeper of the, the um, ark. And we've, we've got a couple pictures okay. of the church and the keeper here. Um, just to back up, do we know what the Ark of the Covenant is? No clue. I just know from Indiana Jones yeah. movies. It was right. It, it was the way that uh, it was a, a box that they could carry around the Ten okay, Commandments. Yes. It was the way that God, his presence could be felt on God. He would lead the Israelites. They would carry it around. And then it was also used as a weapon in battle. It's, right? it's a place too. they'd put it in a little thing and they called it the Holy of Holies. I believe that's something yes, like that. Tabernacle, yes, very yes. good, hey, you Jeremy. You're supposed to be able to open it. Yeah, that bad things would happen, things right? Happen yes. And let's it. go to the next slide where we're showing. Yes, that's used in battle, right? So this is why everybody wanted it, and it's a highly coveted item, right? Okay. right? So fast forward, they say it's in Ethiopia, right, in the Church of Saint Mary of Zion, and there's this, the guardian there, and you cannot pass. Well, there's a man named Edward Ullendorf during the war. He was actually a British historian. Very familiar with the story and everything, and he wanted to do, uh, but he was a British soldier at the time. He went to the church, he wanted to see it. They said, No, you can't do it. But he had machine guns and he had troops, and they said, No, we're going to see it. And they gently pushed the guardian aside. They went in and he saw it. Why didn't he tell anybody about it? Well, wait a second. He <laughs> saw something. Oh, but it wasn't the ark. What? Oh. It was a it was a facsimile of what they have in churches all over the world. But the oh, Ethiopians right. want to believe that they have it. It's important to them. It's a big deal. And so the, to answer your question, the reason he didn't say anything, he didn't want to shatter the country. It was a big deal to them. It would be like telling oh. the Brits that James Bond is a big coward. Or, uh, that, or you the know. world. That's you know, maybe Santa. Yes. We don't oh, want to say right. There is no Santa Claus. I didn't say it. Perfect. No, no, and we're not me. saying that here. Let's that, make that but, perfectly you know, clear. That's, absolutely. Right. It's not our position. Okay. okay. So okay, anyway, so. Tudor Prophet, uh, Perfect. He wrote this book, and he has a theory that there's not one ark. There's two. <gasps> really? If you look at Deuteronomy chapter 10, 1 through 3, they will talk about Moses making a wooden crate with his own hands out of acacia wood that the, the temple, the uh, tablets would go into. Mm -hmm. This big golden thing would not be easy to carry around during a battle. Right. right. So it was something that was leaner and meaner, and this was called the Ark of War. Oh. And he spent years looking in caves and jungles, talking to tribes. I think we have a picture of him coming up here. All right. But he, uh, he searched the world, and, he, and um, he found it. Or he believes he, he found it. He believes he found it. This wooden ark of war was found in a cave next to a desecrated body that had been there 70 years ago. And they brought it in, and it was sitting in a, in a museum in Zimbabwe. Nobody knew what it was. But he had all these facts. He went in there. He found it. He had it carbon dated. It's the oldest, found, uh, oldest piece of wood found in Africa. And then the DNA samples from that desecrated person mm -hmm. next to it w matches the DNA of the priests that were responsible for the, the ark back in the ancient times. Oh. Wow, this is mind-blowing. Okay. This okay. is mind-blowing. So, yes. so he found it. It became a big deal. It was in a museum in Zimbabwe until a very superstitious president of Zimbabwe, Mugabe, had it uh, extracted and brought to his palace because he had failing health and he didn't feel safe personally. And so he had it brought to the palace because he wanted to feel safe. So he thought it was the ark, yeah. so he thought that would right. be safe. If yeah. anything, that validated it, right? Wow. So that's where the wooden ark is. That's what became of it. That was the whole, the whole story. 
Is this the guy here? Yeah. That's the guy that actually went in and saw it with his own eyes and said that it wasn't real. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh. But then what about that real golden arc? Because I know yeah. we're running out of time. Oh, yeah. yeah. What like about from, it? Like from yeah. the movie. Yeah. Now, that was more, yeah. That, the that one would, that looked yeah. more like that. Right. That would be used for worship. They also called that the Ark of the Testament. All right. That's not something that would be used in the battlefield. And I talked to the author and I said, you know, I've heard that there's tunnels underneath Jerusalem. Uh -huh. And there's theories that when, when uh, King Solomon's temple or the Jerusalem Muslim was being attacked, they went in and sealed it away in a chamber in the tunnels. And he said, if it's anywhere, that's exactly right. It's got to be underground. But here's the thing. The main temple in Jerusalem is a mosque. It's Muslim territory. And oh. before that happened, the, the uh, Israelis, they patched up those entrances that are directly underneath that temple. And so neither side can get at it. It's at one of the most conflicted places on earth. Well, then why wouldn't it be Maybe, there then? Yeah. And so this, it, it could very easily be in one of those underground corridors in Israel. Now, that's the one you're talking about is the Ark of the Yes, Testament. the golden one. The golden one. Right, right. exactly. But so. the wooden one could be with the Zimbabwe guy? That's correct. In M his house? Mugabe in his palace. He's been exiled since then. So where did it go now? Well... They, it might be back in the museum. That's what okay. Tudor. Uh, but have they opened the box? Said. You said they carbon it. Have they opened the box to make sure that it was empty? Can... It did it not have empty. the Ten Commandments. Yeah. That would have been okay. breaking news. I'm just going to say, I don't think we're supposed to find it. Right. I want to find it. <laughs> it's an incredibly okay, powerful thing. Too. I mean, it's That's not just valuable. I mean. I mean, it could be a source of amazing power and the presence of God. Would uh, yeah. do you think then that would solidify? the existence of God if they found the Ten You know what? He said that if it was found underneath Israel, it would be the best chance of getting peace in oh, the Middle that East. Is oh. It would be a big yeah. deal for both, pe uh, both sides, oh, wow. and it would be the greatest, uh, greatest chance at achieving peace in the Middle East, which is amazing. Well, I'll take that back, then I hope we find it. There sure. you go. Let's yeah. have peace. Yeah. Yes, and uh, like I said, the whole interview with this amazing man is at IntrigueJournal.com. It will be later today. IntrigueJournal.com. That is so awesome. Sean Paul, great. thank you. We yes. love that story. Okay, now I want to find yeah. Noah's Ark and... <laughs> the Ark of the Covenant and the Holy Grail. I want to find it all. Well, next time I'm going to go back to the aliens because I came in initially wanting to talk about well, Roswell. But we'll then get this back to aliens we'll, next we'll week. Yes. yes. Thank all you, right. Sean Paul. We'll be back to wrap things up right after this. How fun is that? Yeah. Yeah.